Hi, everyone. I'm here to give you a quick demo of the IOCell uh, Channel Manager uh, system. Uh, just as a prelude, IOCell Channel Management System is, uh, is an add-on to the IOCell Revenue Management System and the Dynamic Pricing System, for which there is already a video on YouTube. I would encourage you to go through the IOCell RMS and Dynamic Pricing uh, video before coming here if you want to understand exactly how the dynamic pricing and automated revenue management works in the IOCell system. So, uh, so let's go ahead. And uh, the first feature of the IOCell channel management uh, system is the update rates feature. Now, one thing you will note here, this is a, a typical hotel where the room types are on the uh, x-axis and on the columns we have the dates and you have the available rooms and the occupancy. Since, as I mentioned, that uh, IOCell channel management system is uh, automatically integrated to the revenue management system, the rates that are coming in, which are truly dynamic, and they come in from the revenue management system. So there is, a, there is already a whole lot of um, uh, factors and algorithms that go behind deciding these rates. I will not go into the details of that, but once those rates are decided by the revenue management system, they come on to the channel management system. And from there, these rates can either be set as an automated price. In this case, this button is green, or at any time you can override these automated rates and enter whichever rate that you want. And you can hit publish. And typically that's how the, the rate uh, can be updated from the channel management system. So this is a quick overview of the rates. You can, you can move on to any, any date range, any, any month or anything like that. The next is the uh, update inventory, which is update rooms. This typically uh, can be done if you're using the channel management system by itself. If you are using the channel management system along with any integrated PMS, either IOCell or any third party PMS, then typically these uh, inventory updates will come uh, automatically by the, the PMS system. However, if you're not using a PMS system at any given time, you can actually update whatever inventory you want at uh, for whichever date and hit save. And this will automatically push uh, the inventory from the ISL channel management system along to all the OTAs that ISL is connected to. The next is uh, bookings. So whenever bookings come onto the system, these bookings are automatically captured in real time. One thing to mention is that um, uh, IOCell captures these bookings in very real time, both from rates and bookings point of view. So the typical time lag between the rate update or a booking capture is less than a few seconds, and which is one of the, the fastest uh, channel management connections that are out there. So here, as you can see, we have all the channels. The bookings are automatically uh, captured. So each booking is then translated into the channel, the booking ID, customer name, date of booking, check-in, check-out, a room, total room nights, number of rooms, meal plan, and price. A few things that are different, you can actually uh, uh, click on any booking ID and you would see more details of the booking. Uh, a thing that is unique about the IOCell uh, channel manager is the fact that you can break up any booking into all different components. So this is typically something that most hoteliers struggle with. So things like uh, what is the amount before tax, tax and amount pre-tax, what is the commission on each booking, what is the net amount before tax, a net amount uh, before commission after tax, and how much should be paid by the customer, how much should the OTA pay to the hotel, and how much should the hotel uh, pay to the OTA. So now with a lot of different OTAs, these things get very complex, and which is why it's typically very hard for accounting teams to, to get a handle of this. So which is why this gets broken very, very clearly. In some OTAs, we are even able to break up things like TDS and TCS, uh, which, are, which are specific to any regulatory environment. But this is what typically uh, any booking that gets come in gets broken down into. Another thing to notice is that from the ISL channel management system, the mark no-show can happen very easily. So if you just mark a no-show from here, automatically this mark no show for any uh, postpaid bookings, which is paid hotel bookings can happen and will we'll go all the way down to the OTA which supports it, for example, the booking.com. So this is a quick uh, overview of the, of the live bookings. Uh, I sell, uh, so there, here there is a bulk update feature. 
So anything from inventory to rates uh, can be bulk updated for any from date and to date. Uh, you can even set minimum rates, which kind of go in with the IOC dynamic pricing. Uh, you can even set restrictions, and this are very this is very important from a channel manager point of view. So for any particular date range, I could decide for any date range, and I can select whichever channel I want. And you can also select all the channels, or you can select any particular channel, and then you can decide to set any restrictions. So for example, I want to close some of these uh, uh, room types, or I can I can set any of the restrictions like stop sell, close on arrival, close on departure, minimum stay minimum stay arrival and so on and so forth. So this can be done overall for all the channels or it can be done at a particular channel level uh, information also. At this point, it is important to note that IOCell is connected to uh, all major uh, channels or OTAs in the world, uh, either directly or indirectly through any third party. So obviously all the important channels like booking.com, Expedia, Agoda, Ctrip, uh, Airbnb, uh, in certain regional OTAs like uh, Make My Trip, uh, Travel Guru, uh, Google Hotel Ads, all of these are connected directly. Another thing to point out here is that any uh, mapping, the, the OTAs can be mapped very, very simply. Here and it usually takes less than a few minutes for in ISL channel manager to map any OTA. So all we need to do is enter the hotel code, the currency. Uh, we need to get these mapping codes, which typically are done by the ISL team. Uh, and you can even uh, another important thing is that you can put a channel multiplier for each channel. So for example, whatever my rate that I'm pushing out to all the OTAs, suppose on booking.com, I want to enter a 10% higher rate than all the other channels. I can just put a channel multiplier of 1.1 and automatically all the rates being pushed to this particular channel get amplified by 10%. So here we have on the rate out, we can um, we have all the channels that can be set in. Even from a reservations point of view, uh, we can specify which email IDs we should get uh, reservation, real-time reservation notifications to. You can add as many email IDs as you would like. And the rest of the mappings are done very simply for each of the OTAs. Another thing to mention real quickly is that we have an integration with Google Hotel Ads. So a Google Hotel Ads is, is one of the uh, is one of the new uh, new OTAs through which you can get direct bookings through your booking engine. So even that setup is very simple and easy to do in the chan uh, in the IOCL uh, channel management system. So this is uh, pretty much an overview of the IOCell channel manager and RMS system. We have update rates, update rooms, bulk update, live bookings, as well as mapping of channels. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for your time.